Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. As you can see, I started to pull. I didn't realize I wasn't recording. Uh, but the song I was hearing was, <clears throat> if you could only see, by Tonic. So, it goes... Uh, if you could only see the way she loves me, maybe you would understand why I feel this way about our love and what I must do. If you could only see how blue her eyes can be when she says when she says she loves me all right so um i feel like there may be a divine masculine that's starting to talk about you more to people um i'm hearing like it's starting to get real for them and, uh, hold on, let me put the guitar away. By the way, I don't know how to play guitar, guys. <laughs> I just mess around. Um, <clears throat> hold on one second. Yeah, so I feel like there's a divine masculine that's having a hard time explaining to people why they are in love with you and why they can't um like move on past you like move on from you honestly i don't even know if they're telling people that they are in love with you yet <laughs> honestly um i feel like this is like really brand new something may have happened where it kind of pushed them to realize you were who you were to them i just saw two 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 but right off the bat, what I was getting is, um, I think there is a divine masculine that is focusing way too much on you, <laughs> like obsessively thinking about you, where they need to focus on balancing the things in their life and finding hobbies or focusing on themselves maybe treating themselves better, definitely needing to do more action um, as far as meditating to quiet their mind, to clear their mind, clear their mind of you specifically. Um, I know we don't want to hear that, but this is, it, I feel like this is blocking them from moving towards you because they're overthinking, they're seeing too much, they're creating scenarios in their head that is not healthy. <laughs> they have to clear their energy, bring their power back to them, you know, call their energy back to them. And boundaries honestly need to start being more firm when it comes to this divine masculine. This divine masculine may be a people pleaser, um, not like conflict, so they just try to make everything work. <clears throat> But the soulmate card says the divine will provide you with love when you are ready. That includes both of you. It can just be one or the other. All right. All right, God. Let's see. What are we reading on today? Really? Look. I, I can't make this up, guys. Yeah, they are obsessively thinking about you. And honestly, with the Ace of Wands coming out, they might be obsessively fan yep, fantasizing about you and all the dirty little things they want to do to you. Yeah. They're definitely a giver. <laughs> we have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck, 444, when I said that. So an ending happening here it could be an ending to feeling trapped which is good queen of swords energy page of wands let's get more 
Don Michael spirit. What else? So that Ten of Swords really wants to come out. Six of Swords, Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Did anything else for me? Eight of Swords. We're going to put these back. What else? Oh, come on, no. Knight of Wands. Yeah, we're going to keep it. What else? God, Michael Spirit, what else? What else? Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I just heard um, if you clear your mind in meditation, you can come up with the words for a message that you need. Or figure out a creative plan to start going forward. Be optimistic about the spiritual awakening. Wow. And your abilities to manifest anything that your heart truly desires. And the magician has access to all things to make it happen. Yeah, the magician is communication with Vir uh, Virgo and Mercury. Um, sorry, Virgo and Gemini is ruled by Mercury. So the communication... Can start being more clear if you meditate and clear your mind. I keep uh, keep hearing creative ways to start this new beginning. So, however that would resonate for you guys, let's uh, get one to clarify the devil. Why the devil? Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords wanted to come out. Him. Okay, let me get a good shot, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All of it was you guys. <laughs> Alright, why the devil? God, Michael Spirit, why the devil? Nine of Swords. Yeah, it's definitely overthinking. Um, I just heard causing mental illness, like causing anxiety. Inner conflict. Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. All about speaking the truth and taking too long. Wanting nothing more than a victory with you. But they need to heal. They need to heal this. They could be going through a dark night of the soul right now. But they do want to fix things with you. They want to make something right. Why the Ten of Swords? Five of Wands. So too much to juggle with the Five of Wands. Look at Ace of Swords. The Empress, the Tower. And Two of Pentacles, which is all about juggling. Someone's stressing. Yeah, okay. Someone's stressing over a lot of shit. You, um, it could be karmics involved in their life, whether that's a lifestyle, friend group, family. I just heard money. This per person just needs to focus and end that. 
because they're the ones causing the inner conflict because they're not clearing their energy they're not bringing their energy back to them themselves transmuting it why the knight of wands why the knight of wands Make a spirit why the knight of wands. Wow. Because they want to rush towards you to offer you something in the 3D. They could want to give you something too. But the eight of wands is fast travel. It could also mean like a message of some sort. They could want to get to know you with the rediscover yourself. High Priestess, King of Swords, Queen of Cups. <clears throat> Why the Four of Cups? Three of Swords. Let's get, who's this Three of Swords about? High Priestess, it is you, okay. Cause I've been picking up on heartbreak, but then we're picking up on endings of karmic cycles and all this. So I started thinking earlier while I was at work cause it's like 6 a.m. I finished working from working yesterday since 3 p.m. But I started thinking if I was picking up on this heartbreak the correct way. I tend to overthink sometimes, guys. Sorry. 1221 when I looked up. All right. Let's clarify the sun. Let's clarify the sun. Yeah, healing, ego, death, the sun, strength. This is both Leo, Aquarius. Just heard age of Aquarius. I feel like once this divine masculine kills their ego and has this ego death, I feel like the people please and believe it or not would get better and they'll start making decisions and have boundaries without needing to look a particular way. Could have to do with family here with the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Why the Four of Swords? I feel like both of you, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, are needing to rest and work less. Judgment. Yeah, this is coming from God, not me. Because the soulmate energy here, soulmate, twin flame, it doesn't matter, whatever you resonate with. The divine will provide you with love when you're ready. And then the healing card. This is also following your intuition as well, guys. Yeah, fixing things with each other. First, you got to fix things within yourself, and then you guys will be able to start laying this foundation and move to calmer waters. You can walk away with from what no longer serves you, and you'll have the strength to do so. Divine Masculines, you'll be able to come towards your Nine of Pentacles, the Minor Arcana of the Empress. And we did already see the Empress, but there's a lot of stress right now, probably when it comes to work overworking here working way too hard maybe you're working too hard in the relationship that you're in right now or you're working hard towards your spirituality at this very moment in time because you can't let go of this divine feminine let's get one more for judgment why judgment with the four first one that flipped was the queen of cups 
which I kept seeing when I was shuffling. The world, seven of swords, seven of cups, seven, seven could be significant. Ten seventy seven could be significant. Someone could be needing to end something with um hold on guys. So I think a repetitive cycle with you and your person is coming to a close. But with this obsession and overthinking about you, I feel like that this divine ma masculine may be thinking that you're closing this karmic cycle because you have other options. But as you can see, that's deceptive energy. That's their overthinking, causing anxieties. And putting them in this devil energy because that's not the case. Um, for some of you, not all of you, if you were married previous or had a karmic, they feel like maybe you went back to the karmic. Like you guys figured out a way to relieve your burdens and figured out a way to make things work. I do feel like um, the Wheel of Fortune is going to start turning in your favor. You guys are going to get some new insight. Um, I'm here in communication as well, balancing out the scales. It could be talks of finances here with the King of Pentacles, which I saw before shuffling as well with the Queen of Pentacles. Let's get one for this Five of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, once they balance this out, they end certain things. I'm hearing declutter. They have to declutter from their life. And that doesn't mean like material things. Um, it could for some of you, but declutter responsibilities. Maybe this Divine Masculine is taking on too much. I mean, the good thing is, is the Ten of Swords we keep seeing in the readings is the end of end. You know, it doesn't get worse than that. That's like rock bottom right there. But they're holding on too tightly to certain things that they don't want to let go. It could be material things with the Four of Pentacles. It could be putting too much work on them. It could be family. And it could be you, Divine Feminine, with the Queen of Wands. It could be conflicts and arguments involving you. It could be them thinking of just taking a leap of faith and coming towards you. You know, it's so much that's going on. This is a lot of stress on this Divine Masculine. Let's get one for the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords could be also a dark night of the soul, especially with the Devil energy. Nine of Cups. I just heard drinking. So maybe when they think about you obsessively, they take a drink or two or three because um, it's coming out with the devil here to kind of like numb the pain or just to, yeah, I'm getting numb the pain. Yeah, divine masculine emperor energy. They could also, well, emperor with the magician and temperance. This is angel Gabriel. Which is, um, Gabriel is the messenger of God. And the magician creates his own reality. And you see how they're all single in this, in these cards. I, I'm getting a strong sense of independence is needed with this divine masculine. To trust himself or herself. That they have all the tools that they need to trust in the divine that they're able to fill their own cup. That they could live in their emotions but also be logical. 
because the foot is on land and then the other one is in the water. Earth angel vibes, very powerful, divine masculine. They choose to dilute themselves, especially if they're, if they're drinking. They're diluting their ability. I do feel like this divine masculine is heavy. I just saw 2024 and the king of swords energy. And if they are going through endings or dark night of the souls or working on their boundaries could be why they're in this king of swords. Or they're tapping into this king of swords energy because they really want to figure out what to say to you. Lovers in the Knight of Swords, as I say, try to figure out what to say to you. They want to rush towards you really quickly and let them let you know that they know they want to be with you. That you're the love of their life. Soulmate energy. Yeah, they could write this in a message or again, create something to express it. They're very much afraid of rejection though. They could be financially hurting. But with the Nine of Wands, it is the Wounded Warrior, but it's also a persistent energy. I feel like they're going to overcome this. They're being blocked right now. It's because of their heart. They're not following their heart. The Two of Swords and the Ace of Cups. They need to follow their heart, and then things will start leading. And we have the Chariot, which is also a very fast-moving card. This uh, Divine Feminine may be traveling for a little while because the Chariot could actually be a car energy. Um, and Knight of Pentacles, we know, is very slow. We have the World and the King of Cups popping out. So Divine Counterparts, King and Queen of Cups. Um, we saw King and Queen of Pentacles. So Emotions and Stability. Ten of Cups. Yep, now we have the King of Wands. We saw the Queen of Wands. But yeah, you both could be working really hard. Anything else we need to know about this connection to help them on their highest and greatest good? Anything else we need to know at this time? Um, I'm here in social media detox. So guys, if you feel like that resonates for you, and that includes even watching my videos, guys, do what's best for you. If you need a break from tarot, if you need a break from hearing me give you advice, <laughs> then take it. Uh, we have three of cups. Wow. And the two of cups. Heavy reunion energy. Heavy soulmate twin flame energy as well. So anything else we need to know and we get reunion is coming. You guys could be mirroring each other right now the way these two are looking at each other. You both could be needing to kill a little bit of your ego at this time. I, I think it will help when you guys have this, this new beginning. Um, I think it will help if your egos are not in the way. Less conflict. 2333 or 333. I feel like that's how you guys are going to get your victory is by expressing emotions to each other. You both want to be with each other for sure. I'm getting that heavy. Look, the Queen of Cups is coming under the soulmate and then anything else reunion. We have the King of Cups. You guys need to juggle house. So maybe you guys have two different households that you need to juggle and balance and you're trying to figure that out. But you got to calm your mind. You got to make a decision. Again, this is twin flame reconciliation with the, the six of cups. But under that is the death card. So there is a spiritual awakening that is coming out. Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's um, a Divine Masculine working on their finances right now. Let's see if we can get any more. God, Michael, Spirit, what else are we dealing with here? What else do we need to know? The Collective needs to know for their highest and greatest good. 
Guys, if you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video if you like this content. I'm sorry if my singing sucked, guys. I'm, like, not feeling good again. We have regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. This could be what they're overthinking about. As much as communication would clear that up <laughs> so you guys can move forward. They're too much in their head. That's why they need to balance children. Children are important in this partnership, which we do pick up a lot. Um, so it's falling under rediscover yourself. So someone could have been, someone could have gotten lost in being a parent. You know, like how some moms, um, like stop taking care of themselves or start like wearing PJs all the time and everything is around their kids, like sports, school, hanging out with friends. I feel like the divine is saying that you need to rediscover yourself as well as being a parent. You got to find that balance, guys. Oh, wow. We have twin flame. This is a divine count. Uh, this is a divine counterpart connection. And this could be why you guys also need to clear up, clear your energy because um, especially if you guys have a really strong telepathic connection, if your energy is being manipulated, that makes your twin have to overwork to clear their energy and vice versa. Remember, even if you guys are not in physical union, you are always spiritually united and you want to help each other out regardless of being in separation. I just saw six five four um and it's okay to be in your twins energy sometimes just not obsessively like this morning well technically last yesterday morning for me um i just saw 707 i woke up and i missed my twin uh because i had a dream about her and i just sat there and i just thought of her you know in different ways and that's okay but I don't do it all the time. And that's what you guys need to get to that point. Because I was to the point where it was like every day for me. All day, every day. I was the obsession. Uh, everything that everyone goes through with this twin flame dynamic. But you got to learn how to just go with the flow and release. You know, for me, I had no choice. You know, I was either going to stay heartbroken for the rest of my life. Because my twin was never deciding to get with me. Or I was going to force myself to start being better. Because I had no choice. 28 could be significant. Or 82. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, heartbroken for the rest of my life. Or I just, I forced myself. Because my twin was deciding not to be with me. So, what was I going to do? 818 when I said that. So... We have intuition. You already know the answer you seek. Unavailable. This person is unavailable to give all you deserve. So as of right now, this person is not available to give you what you deserve. But I am getting summertime, guys. But that does not... I don't like giving time, time frames because I don't want you guys to wait. I want you guys to focus on yourself. Rediscover yourself. You know, build new friendships. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Okay, so if you have, if this connection is a friend, or, I mean, obviously, if you guys are not official, you're either acquaintances or friends. So, here in best friend as well, and we keep channeling that. We have new love. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. And then we have that soulmate energy. Your soulmate loves, accept, accepts, and respects you. Respect is a big thing. I was just talking to my brother about this. Because I, I, I told him, I was explaining one of the other videos I did before. How I was saying that men, um, it's super important for them to be respected in a relationship. Because a lot of the times women, and I'm not going coming for anyone guys. Um, this is just personal experience, people watching, studying, that kind of stuff. Um, women sometimes assume that men have to provide, have to protect, and then 
there's no appreciation towards it. And, you know, my brother said, you know, you're right because a lot of the times, like a lot of, a lot of guys just do what they have to do and get nothing. And it's not like they need praise or for you to bow down and like, you know, praise them or whatever. It's just like simple things. Why is it that men have to give women flowers randomly, right? They don't have to, but it's like a thing, you know, just because, you know, but why don't they receive anything? Obviously, they probably don't want flowers. Give them like bacon or something, <laughs> like a pack of bacon, and then they'll, they'll be like happy and shit, unless they're vegan. Don't do that shit. But um, yeah, it's like, it's, um, it's kind of a thing I never agreed. Even when I dated guys before, I was never that girl that you have to do this for me or Valentine's Day is just for me and not for you because that's another thing too. It's like dudes get shit on on Valentine's Day. I, I think it's getting better now, but like before it was just they spent massive amounts of money. They had to come up with all this stuff and I naturally love doing that. So it's not work or an obligation for me. Like I like romancing the people that I'm with um and doing those sweet things but it's like just a little bit of appreciation both ways 31 31 as i said that anyway support lean on your inner circle during this time and being called to underneath apology you can expect the apology you want to hear different pages you and this person those share the same vision patience everything will unfold naturally unfold in divine time excuse me sorry um now the same pages thing is what you guys are most likely needing to heal. All right. God, Michael Spear. What else? What else for this divine connection? If you guys are resonating with this reading here, because we're not going to resonate with every single reading, guys. This is a general collective reading on the internet. But if you're resonating here, I do feel like this is one of the few twin flames that are actually meant to come together in the 3D. 3222 when I said that. Sorry, 3223, but I don't say anything by mistake. So if the other number is significant, then there it is. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmation, and visualizations help bring you together. So this person definitely realizes you are their soulmate. If not twin flame for those divine masculines that are more um, spiritually advanced. Or if maybe you told them is what I'm hearing. I also heard they want to have kids with you, if that's possible for you guys, or I just heard grandkids. Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this is my twin flame card, but this is also exactly what it says, religious factors. So if there's cultural differences, um, if there's ethnicity differences, religious differences, all of that could be a factor. Seeing that it's coming under children, if you guys already have children, this divine masculine, or if they only have children, this divine masculine is wondering if their kids will get along with your kids, will get along with you, will, you know, be okay. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, which I love that it's right under the twin flame. So, because if this divine masculine is debating whether or not that this is their twin flame, I feel like your feelings are real and worth exploring. It's more like a confirmation, like, yeah, you're not going crazy. This is it. So divine masculines, if you're seeing this, good job. You figured it out. We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Now, with the different pages card that came out before I feel like this is old love um like an old an old energy that you guys dealt with or this could be a fear that this divine masculine is having and I'm not just saying it because I'm trying to make you guys feel better if that was the case I would say you know what they're gonna call you today 444 on the clock when I said that deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship and I love that it's also under the friendship 
So this divine masculine could have just kept telling people she or he is just a friend. They're just a friend. <laughs> Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah, so I feel like this is a divine masculine that still needs to wake up a little bit. Um, they're doing it slowly but surely. But they, they could be at that stage where they're debating whether or not um, it's love or friendship or how to bring it out of a friend zone. Yeah, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation and it's going right under soulmate. Soulmate, 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 soulmate. See, regret calling in your soulmate. So this divine masculine probably was manifesting and calling in their soulmate and they're regretting how they treated you because they didn't notice or f knew it was you at the time. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So the divine is coming through and saying it's okay to express your love to each other. We have new love. Which is awesome because we did pick up on the new love. Where is it? Where was it? Am I going crazy? Did I not see that? Oh, I think it was on the bottom of the deck when I was shuffling these. Um, a new person has stirred romantic feelings. But again, this new person could be new energy that we're picking up on with the Divine Masculine. Or for some of you, this could actually be... A new love for those of you done with your twin flame or wanting to move on this soulmate. Let's see. Who's this new love? God, Michael, Spirit. Who's this new love for the collective? Guys, obviously this isn't going to be for everyone. Knight of Swords. Could be someone coming out of nowhere to help you get untrapped. Well, and as I say that, help you get untrapped. Look at this. Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. That's crazy. Um, I can't ignore it, though. It could be same sex, guys. Um, or this could just simply be two feminine energies, which is pretty cool because I remember a little while back, I had a discussion with someone in the comments, and I, I believe they... It was from a video that I posted, but I took it down. It was, um, I asked you guys if you thought it was possible for two different sets of twin flames to date each other. And what I mean by that is like the empress with the emperor and then this little one with another masculine energy. Like if these two feminines, because their masculine doesn't do the work, come together. Like, if it was possible to date. Um, <clears throat> so, Divine Feminines, um, there might be another feminine energy. That doesn't mean female, guys. This can be male or female. It's just another feminine energy. Um, because sometimes this could be a soulmate energy. Uh, we, we were picking up heavy. But you guys mesh well together. Um, but this person is wanting to come towards you pretty quickly. Um yeah help close out a cycle for you so just be open for that divine feminines um again you you have free will you can do whatever you want but if the divine is putting anything in your path especially in this reading it might be for a reason to lead you you know um we don't try to be strategic uh well you can be strategic just not manipulative um but yeah, you have to the you have to follow the rules of the the game of the twin flame, right? So if you're meant to date someone to trigger your divine masculine to be like, oh shit, I waited too long, and now they come forward, you know, it all happens. And I'm not saying use anyone. Never, ever, ever, ever going to say that, guys. Um, follow your heart. Do what you feel is best for you. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys know how I feel about being open to inviting new energies, whether that's opportunities and jobs, whether that's people. There's absolutely no nothing wrong with having friends. There's nothing wrong with having a discussion with people. Um, again, attraction doesn't mean desire. You know, you, you can be attracted to someone and not desire them in a different way. 
And sometimes having a conversation makes you feel better, okay? And I know for me, I don't know if it may be it's a Gemini in me, but I like talking. So if some random person wants to talk to me and they're not talking about the weather, then I'm probably going to have a conversation. I, I like to learn too. So if someone's willing to teach me something, then I'm open to it and I'll ask the questions. I'm not one of those people that are afraid to ask questions because they're afraid to look stupid. I know the information I do because I do ask questions. You know, when everybody else is too afraid to get laughed at or whatever, I don't really care about any of that. <laughs> like, sincerely, I'll ask something. But um, anyways, guys, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video if you like this content. I really, really hope it helps, guys. I love you. Peace.